happy Monday. Welcome to the Shack Shack. I'm so glad I caught that. Um, what was I bleating on about? Well, I said, come on in, grab a cup of tea. And, uh, and I said, grab a seat. We're going to have a fabulous week. We're, this week, we're um, going to have some, another, another session of colour. So we're with, the, um, we're with the postcards this week. And uh, we're going to have a bright and beautiful colouring session. I've decided to add a real lovely, vibrant splash of colour into our lives. Um, yeah, that's what we're doing this week. More will be revealed on that. If you haven't got on, get them. Um, um, yeah, so that, that we're doing. You need your colouring pencils. If you are getting your gear ready, you need your colouring pencils and your postcards. OK, so while we're on the subject, we're very, very busy uh, at Clarity this week because we've decided to have a half price sale. And, you know, last week I said, don't buy the, um, the light wave. Don't buy the light wave this week. Buy it this week. This is the week you buy it. Not last week, this week, because now it's half price. And that's what I was encouraging you to do. Um, so if you did decide to go for it, the sale is actually on the Pergamano website. You know, we've got two companies. We've got Clarity, we've got Pergamano. So now the Pergamano website is where the half price sale is. And it's across the board. It's on all Groovy, all, um, all tools, all Pergamano, um, everything to do with parchment, actually everything to do with parchment. The only thing we weren't allowed to put in the half price sale or were not able was the polychromos pencils because otherwise we'd be paying you to buy them. However, they're still on a good price. So what else involves you? Yeah, so if you were thinking about, um, if you're into Groovy, now's the time to get it. If you fancy the light wave, now's the time to get it. But it's not on the Clarity website, it's on the Pergamano website, half price. Okay, so no, the club discounts don't apply on the Pergamano website. But, I mean, hey-ho, 50% is 50%, isn't it? So that's where everybody's headed today. It's gone a little bit crazy. The whole idea behind it was that last week would have been the parchment retreat in Tunbridge Wells. And we already had to move it from April to October. And now we've had to move it from October to April again. Ever hopeful. We're optimistic that, um, that we'll be able to gather together and have some fun in Tunbridge Wells at the Spa Hotel next April. So, but we thought, ah, oh, this is getting a bit gutty, really, you know, not being able to get together. So we said, right, we said we're going to have a party online. And so on uh, on my face, uh, on Clarity, no, Groovy Worldwide, look out there, because the design team are poised, ready to entertain. On my blog, barbaragrayblog.com, I already started yesterday. Josie gave me a fabulous grid project for you to do. Um, and then the Clarity Matters blog, there are going to be so many competitions, quizzes, giveaways, raffles, you name it. Linda Williams, she's got her sleeves rolled up, ready to entertain. Tina Cox, they're all there, all ready to, to keep you company. So we thought we'd have some fun this week. That's what it's all about, okay? So let's have a quick sip of tea and then we'll get cracking, shall we? Lucy's in the building with you. If you've got any questions, direct them at Lucy. She'll be able to direct you to the Pergamano website if you're not sure where that is. The sale started last night at midnight and it goes till midnight Friday and then it's off. That's it. Monday to Friday, that'll do. That'll do. And the party will continue until midnight Friday. So, can you hear me all right? Everybody happy? Are we ready to rock and roll? Cool, I'm glad I caught the sound. <laughs> that would have been funny. Whole hour of all that waffle. Do you know all that that I just said? I'd already said it once. <laughs> there you go. I'm known for repeating myself. Alicia Herbert, come on in. Sue White, what's going on? I don't know. What is going on? Oh, because of the sound. Here you go. If you can lip read, you are in with a chance. Okay, come on. Let's get started. Have you got your postcard? Are we ready to go? I've got my pencils ready. I spent a couple of hours yesterday getting ahead of the game. I think you'll enjoy this one. We're going to go with the toucan. Toucan. Beautiful. Should we have a look? Come on. The two can. Hey, look. If two can, you can. You know we're going to have some fun with this. Who can? You can. Two can. <laughs> yeah. Playful, beautiful birds. Playful, beautiful birds. That's what we're going to do. I already got my pencils out. 
If you're new to the game, the Shack Shack game, the Safe, Happy and Creative game, the Stay Home and Craft game, then um, you won't, you'll be wondering what we're up to. So for the last couple of weeks, we meet, don't we, every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 10 o'clock in the morning on Facebook Live. And for the last couple of weeks, we've been really immersed in mandalas. We built mandalas and then we did the seasons in the sun. We had all that last week, which is quite amusing. And so on Friday, we put that to bed. And today we're getting the toucans out. And so what we do is, we, it's like a rolling feast really, and uh, we go from doodling to colouring to doodling to colouring, and they mix a little bit too, you know. Um, and I was looking at the colouring postcards yesterday thinking which one should we go with? And the toucan just jumped out at me because it's just so playful and so bright and vibrant. And I thought in these rather bleak times that we're going through at the moment, why not? have a lovely, a lovely session of bright and beautiful colour, okay? That's what we're going to do. So I'm using polychromos, but, but, and I've got them all in a row because I know loads of you have got the pergoliners half price. <laughs> of course they are. They're per, per, per perga. The, the clue's in the first bit, right? Now, pergoliners. So if you look here, whether they're the aqua pencils, the A pencils, or here the start the B pencils, whether you're using the A or the B, it makes no difference for what we're doing here, right? But what you can see is you've got all the colours you need. You've got the yellows, the oranges, the reds, the purples, the blues, and most importantly, you've got blacks. You've got it in the Buffer Blending Pencil, and you've got it in the Aqua too. So it's entirely up to you. And we know that we can use both sorts of pencils on the on the postcards they're, they're really good quality aren't they so if you if you're using the perga liners you've got all the colors you need and if you're using the polychromos which is what i'm doing because i like them um i like the others as well but you know if you've got them you're going to use them barber castell best pencils in the world even though we own perga liners and we own pergamano you know, I know what I know. I know what I know. And these are great, you know, pound for pound, quality, perfect, right? And the aqua pencils are super too. But pound for pound, yeah, you get what you pay for. Right, are we ready? Come on then. I'm a little bit hyped up because I spent five minutes talking to you. <laughs> and I've lost a really good stamp and I can't find it and I need it. So I've parked that. I've parked that. I'm going to worry about that at 11 o'clock. Right, are you ready to rock and roll? Let's have a look. Come on. Have you got your toucan out, so to speak? Uh -uh. Can you hear me? Do me a favour, before we get going, I know, Lucy, you try to contact me. Bless your heart. There's no sa sound. is all right now, though, Lucy, right? Everybody happy? Good. So what we're going to do then, I'm going to put my good my day medners on and we're going to get going. And I thought, I thought what we could do, right, from, from a skill set point of view, where would you start? It'd be interesting to see. If you were doing this, where would you start? Would you, see, I started on the yellow bib. I started on the yellow bib and then I worked my way away from the yellow bib. So you've got two opportunities here. You've got two toucans. Toucan is toucan, you can. I'm going to drive you potty this week with that. Right, but you've got some beautiful tropical rainforest look, fantastic foliage and flowers around there too. So we're going to really have some fun with that. But of course, I think we're going to start with the, the toucan, aren't we? And what I'm going to do, only because it gives a softer effect, I'm going to put a couple of pages. Look, I found, let me just do this. If you take a little bit of copy paper, or anything really, just underneath, I find it's just, it's softer. It seems to give me a softer, a softer pencil. Just a little bit of a cushion really, isn't it? Just a bit of a cushion. Are right, you cool with that? Right, so, and what I did, right, because I thought it'd be nice to, look, I printed out a photograph from, from the internet. 
and uh, I wanted to just look at this bird. That beak is four times the size of its head. Imagine having a hooter, a nose that was four times the size of your head. <laughs> Crack! You'd sleep on your back, wouldn't you? <laughs> or, or you certainly wouldn't be able to sleep on your stomach. Do you know how he sleeps? He wraps, this is so strange, I watched a video, he wraps his, his beak and he lays it on his back. Well, you would, wouldn't you, if you could? <laughs> right, so he takes his beak and he wraps his head around and lays his beak across there. And then, built-in blanket, his tail feathers flap over the top. Built-in blanket. Imagine if you could do that as well. I know. And mate, isn't nature a wonderful boo-boo? I know. Absolutely fantastic. So we're going to have some great fun. And I did a little bit of reading up on them. You know, I, I educated myself on toucans. And I'm going to share that information with you because it's fascinating. Did you know they're monogamous? They are. They mate for life. That's cool too. I like that too. I haven't figured out divorce yet. <laughs> Okay, so let's get started. Have you got your pencils? I've given you enough time. I've waffled enough. I've given you enough time. And what we're going to do, I think, we'll start with the one at the front and we'll do yellow. If there's anything that we're going to learn that we haven't already been doing during our colouring sessions, right, if there's anything that I want to learn or that I want us to learn together is how to get a texture with black. So if I come in tight, now, the, the toucan himself, he'd be jet, jet black, right? Jet, jet black. And so what I've done is I kind of half finished it to show you. If you have a look at the black, obviously I haven't finished this bit yet. I just wanted to show you how I've built it up to a seriously solid black. But what I wanted to show you was his, the chest feathers. If you look here, look above the branch or the trunk and then look below the trunk. And what I was trying to do was get texture in using black see so I thought we could have a little go at that just gives it a little bit more interest doesn't it so that'd be nice and then also if we look at the beak it's just building up that color again and making it look like there's light hitting it you see we did this before didn't we do you remember I think it was on the mallard on those mandarin ducks mm -hmm. so let's get started shall we and um, the color that we're going to go with to start with I know it I, I think it's actually, it's, it's yellow, but it's lemony yellow, isn't it? It's a, a cadmium yellow. So if you're using pergolinas, you've got a lovely zesty yellow in there anyway. If you're using the, perg the polychromos, you've got one in the box of 60 that's called um, lemon. I think you have. Cadmium yellow lemon, 205. Just get a nice yellow. Let's not get caught up. Let's not sweat the small stuff. He's got a yellow chest and he's predominantly black and he's got a really, really, really bright beak. OK, and the two can police aren't going to come and check what we do. We can have some fun with it and we can use what we fancy. All right. Do I think that we could come in a little bit closer? Shall I move in a bit closer? Let's have a look if I can. We excuse me a minute. Is that better? Yeah. It, what I want to do is let you see where we're headed. I think it helps, doesn't it? Do you agree? Oh, I wish I could listen to you. I wish I could hear you. Right, cup of tea. Are we ready? Okay. Yeah. So what we'll do is I'm going to use the zesty, the zesty yellow lemon one. Or a yellow, let's just call it a yellow, right? And uh, we're going to get a flat going, just a flat, so that it's it's easier, right? Nice and smooth. And then we're just going to go really lightly and get a nice under, underlay, just a nice underlay, not pressing hard, just skimming over the top like that. Yeah. Just skim over the top. Don't worry too much about the edges. Okay, let's get a nice, when you look at them, I mean they're pretty yellow, but I mean that is as yellow, 
yellow is yellow, isn't it? But it's definitely a, a lemony yellow rather than an orangey yellow. Right, so if I want to get into the gap, then I flick the pencil round. So the flat's for the shading, see, like that. And if I want to get into the detail area, then I'm going to get in with the, just flick the pencil round. And I can get in there then. So, we've got choices on this. I mean, I spent hours yesterday fiddling, but it's actually not that necessary because it's just a beautiful, smooth white. I was thinking about putting little flicks, flexing. So I, what I did was look, and I don't know if it's necessary. I think sometimes you can overdo it. Um, if you look at the chest, the 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 this bit here, this bib, you'll see that I went in with the white and made texture in it. But to be honest, I don't know if you need it. But I'd spent about an hour on it and I wasn't going to start again. And then I thought, wish I hadn't bothered. <laughs> not needed, not needed. I'd rather just get really nice zesty layers going. Right. Let's take that colour there now. Yeah? Nice. There are lots of lovely colours. Take, um, if you've got another yellow... This one's called light cadmium yellow, right? We can go over it with that one as well, right? Just blend the two. Just change the colour a little bit, tones it down a bit, makes it not quite so green. Okay. So we're just getting the bib going. I think what we've got to know is, as we do this, right, you can do layer on layer on layer on layer. There you go. Tones it down a little bit. Right, nice bright. Now... Let's just leave that for a minute and let's look at the eye because we're going to be staring at this fella and when you do the eye, it's the eye that m makes, it's the w w window to the soul, isn't it? So let's focus on the eye. Just let it focus for a minute. Right, now I'm going to come in a little bit closer. Come in a little closer, baby. See, I made it, I, look, I've given him little wrinkles, little bags under his eyes. It's only because he's got them on the, te on the look, I'll show you. While we're there, right, you ready? Look, I'll show you on the on the picture that we're doing. He's got little wrinkles. Look, oh, he's got little bags. Look, see? <laughs> so I thought, yeah, we can do that. All right, have a look. So what we're doing is we're going to go in with the black on that white area, but we're going to leave. We're not going to add the whiteness afterwards. We could if we if we've got a good paint pen but what we're going to do is we're going to for now we're going to leave it okay the white where the light's hitting is his black pupil okay right let's do that first in fact let's not do that first <laughs> let's do the green first have you got a have you got a light green have you got a, a green what one have i got here i've got <laughs> honestly this one's called light green. Okay, there you go. Light green. Lichtgrün. Oh, they mean light as in light as in lucid, not light as in not dark. Right, light green. Okay, so what we're going to do is use light green in the area around. Okay, let's just do this bit first. Again, I've got the flat of my pencil going. What number did I hear you say? I've got 171. It must come from the it must come from the tin of 60. There you go. Right, so now. So we're going to do the green round the outside first, yeah? I'll tell you why I said let's not do the black first. Look, see as I go round like that round around the garden like a teddy bear. As I keep doing this, if that was all solid black, do you remember we did it on one of the birds? Ah, oh, which ones was it? It was, um, I can't remember. But, but if you catch the black, it starts to, it carries, you, you carry it around and you don't want to do that. So we'll always make sure that we do the black last. Okay, does that make sense? Let's have a look. 
So round and round we go, making it a little bit darker around the eye. There you go, a bit of light, light green. If you've only got if you've only got one green, just don't press too hard, and you, it will it will be lighter. Sorry to state the obvious. Right, so round around 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 Right, good. Okay, that'll do. And then maybe just to tone it down a little bit, we'll go in with the yellow as well. Like whichever yellow you've got, I'll go in with the the lemon yellow, just to tone it down a bit. Right, that's it. Bit cadmiumy. Okay. Now what we're going to do now though is the eye. The eye requires a little bit more focus. <laughs> right. I'm going to sharpen that black pencil now though. Okay. Because we're going in with the black one. If if you yeah, get a good old point on this now. God, why isn't this working? Sometimes it doesn't want to play. It's all right. Don't wreck it now, Gray. Yeah, I wonder. Oh, all right. I've just got to press a bit harder. Okay, okay. Okay. Right, black. <sighs> okay. Nice. Going to go in gently because it's not that easy to take it out, you know. So we're just going to put in. Let me let me just make the mark so I know where I'm going to go. I'm going to do that area there, okay, and then in this area here. What glass have I got on? Let's come in here so I can get right up tight. See, I can get in with my head now. Right, so I've got a bit of um, a bit of green in there where I got a bit carried away with me round and round the garden, but that's no es problema because what you can do is you can knock out the green. Take that out first before you start, Gray. Where I got in over excited right that'll do pink rubber gets rid of them that first before we begin so what we'll do is we'll we'll make her an area that's going to be black really lightly start really lightly okay and then see this little crescent moon on the side here what we'll do is there we'll just venture up we're going to build this slowly one little flick at a time it's worth spending a bit of time on the eye. The eye is the, yeah, the eye is key really. So you've got that. All right, now let's go up a bit further. Just venture up a bit further on that crescent area. It's a little bit of white still going in there. Can you see this all right? Now let's go in again. <clears throat> okay, flick, 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 flick. What we're going to do now is come slowly, right? You're going to come towards the actual printed line, just gently. Oh, my tummy's going. There you go. The eyes are really the, the one thing that we really want to get right. Because it speaks volumes, doesn't it, the eye? Let's just have a look. Right, let's just go in there again. And now this area is quite big, isn't it? So this is dark, right? Black. I've done that quite black. Quite solid black. And then as we get closer, we're gonna make that we're gonna make this a little bit smaller. So let's just do a little bit of grey. The only way you do that is by just not pressing so hard, okay? Right. That's better. Come in there like that. You can always listen. If it goes wrong, you can always start again. But it's quite difficult to rub out black, isn't it? So then this bit here, okay, quite black. But we're not done yet, right? Leave that alone now. Let's have a look. Cool with that? It's easy, really. Let's have a look at. Let's have a look at this camera. And let's see, let it focus, let it focus, let it focus, let it focus. Right, see? So we've got that so far, but now what we need to do, let me just slide this little fella in. We're going to sort out the lines around the outside. See that? Got a bit of a bag thing going, hasn't he? Hey, listen. None of us are getting any younger. So what we'll do though, what I did, 
Right, I didn't use the pencil, I used an HB pencil. I went in with a, a 2H, like a really fine graphite pencil. And what I find is, because it's, see these, these pencils, the colouring pencils, are quite soft, aren't they? So when you use soft pencil, it's, you're never going to get that real sharp line. So what I did was I used an H, 2H, like a hard, H for hard, just to make the, make the, the, the creases around his eye. It's up to you. It's your art. It's your toucan. If you can, toucan, right? Let's have a look though. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I'm going to make like a little bit away. I just start doing this. Look, see? So I make one line there. It's got a little bit of a sort of a, a ring round there. But I'm not going to go all the way around. I'll go, I'll do a couple of rings like that. Right, one at the top, one at the bottom. Staying well away, you know, making a little... That's it, you build it up. See, it's quite... It looks black. It's just a lot easier, I find. Right, so now I've got my, I've got those lines in. And then I'm going to make another line that straddles those two. So it's going to come a bit further out like that. He's got real laughter, let's call them laughter lines. Huh? Got a laughter line there. There you go. He's got a couple at the top as well, which is interesting. Little furrows. And then you can, you can make as many laughter lines as you like see they just so when they come round yeah it's quite good actually this it's just a little bit darker there so you've got those you can press harder with a hard pencil see oh it looks more like an eyebrow <laughs> Not to worry, he's all right. See, and then I can take my green pencil again. Which one have I got? Yeah, that's it. My light green, my Lichtgrün, right? And then I'll I'll go back round. I'll avoid the black though, because like I say, if you go over the black, it will catch it, and then suddenly you're getting schmears. Let's do a bit of dark around the outside as well. It tones down the pencil. Nice, eh? That's it. Cool, very cool. That'll do, so overcook it. That's it. Okay, eyes sorted, eyes in. And then, got a lovely, yeah, he's looking good now. That's better. Doesn't he look kind? Doesn't he look kind? Hey? Eh? Right, okay. Time for a tea break. Whew. How you doing? All right. You all right? Be fine. We're going to have some fun this week. Keep busy. Eh? Make a plan. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, for sure. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, two can, two can, two can. Uh, and then, and then there'll be games and just. Join in, you know, and if you if you've been thinking about dipping your toe in the parchment world, now's the time. Now's definitely a time because the starter kit's on offer too. Everything, just go and have a look. You know, maybe now's the time that you want to learn a new skill. Hey, eh? we're here to keep you company. We're not here just to. You know that we're not here just to sell you a load of stuff and then and then move on to the next thing to sell you. It's not that at all. This is all about hanging out together, making, making the best of our time, using our time creatively and safely, okay? I've got to go to the uh, optician, so these glasses are not even working that well anymore. So let's have a look. We've got the eye in, we've got the thing. Can I tell you, it doesn't come, like, it doesn't pow until you do this black. But of course, like I said, that will come in last. That will be the last thing we do. Okay. So let's have a look at the beak. The beak is cool. The beak is huge. Four times the size of his head. That is some beak. So let's go in with the same colours as we used before, right? 
Let's go in. Should we have a look? So you get an overall idea. It's quite green. You see? Got a bit of blue. Got those lovely cerises. And then there's an orange flash going right through there. Look at his feet. This is interesting. He's got bright blue feet. And did you know that they are the same? They're very, they're related to the woodpecker. There you go, believe it or not. They are related to the woodpecker. And he's got two, two toes at the front, same as the woodpecker, and two toes at the back. It helps them grip. Well, you'd need to grip with a hoot like that. If you had a beak like that, you'd need crampons, wouldn't you? They don't fly much, surprise. They hop a lot. <laughs> they seldom get on the ground. They don't, you don't often see them on the ground. They tend to stay in the, in the, in the trees. And they hop from branch to branch. Interestingly, though, you'd think that this thing weighs a ton, but it's not. It's made uh, of keratin, so it's quite lightweight. And so he's able to sit on quite fine, because they're, they're fruit givers. They like fruit, right? So he can sit on quite thin branches without tipping, <laughs> tipping the branch or breaking the branch. And he can reach quite far, obviously, with a beak like that. Um, but it's not heavy as you'd think it was. He can't draw blood like a parrot, you know, they don't, it's not, it's not that savage. And if you look, it's got like a serrated, see it's got a serrated edge here. And that helps, that helps to open, like get the skin off a banana. Clever, isn't he? Very clever, very super smart birds these are. Super smart birds. So I was interested to read that. So now let's go to the beak. And it was predominantly a green, it's sort of greeny yellow, isn't it, if we look, right? Greeny yellow. So I'd say we'll go in with the same greeny yellow, what's this one called again? Yellow lemon, right? We'll go in with that one first and let's just put an undercoat down, right? Let's just do this. But I'll leave that one there so you can see what we're up to. Are you enjoying this? Quite a difference from this to the so what we've been doing the last couple of weeks, isn't it? I thought we'd try something different. Try something different. There you go. See, because you've got a flat, you don't, it doesn't take long. Now here though, we want, we want some blue down here, look. Really beautiful blue. There are some nice blues in the pergoliners. So let's just get the colours down so we know what we're doing. So we've got a light coat of yellow, Right, and then I'm going to go in with that green that I went round the eye with. Right, let's get a bit of that. And so this is going to come in here, a bit of green, right over the top of the yellow. Cool. It's quite a lot of green around this area. It's very beautiful. The male and the female have got these beaks. It's not reserved normally, it's just a male, isn't it? But they've both, they're both very colourful. There you go. So we'll add a little layer, a little flash of green over the top. See, and the longer you press, in a minute we'll get our nibs out and we'll be able to blend it all in. I think the thing is, with the um, with colouring, and we, we've, we know this now, as you start to concentrate, it um, just slows you down, doesn't it? It does. It just slows you down. You just get into this zone. I'm not pressing hard at all. I'm pressing that hard. Look, you can hardly see what I'm doing. So you could press really hard, but that would be... The trouble is when you do that, you see, you create a seal and then you can't add more layers. So you can get to that eventually, but the trick is to do it by adding layers. That's the trick. And, and I'm, I'm avoiding the bottom one because I want to put the blue in first. I don't want to contaminate the blue with the yellow, yeah? Otherwise, we just have another green. Right, so a little bit of a flash through there. And we're going to go layer on layer on layer. Nice, eh? There you go. That'll do for the moment. That'll do. We've got a good colour going in there. Let's get some blue in, shall we? Let's put a bit of blue down in that, in that bottom area there. So I'm going with the light fallow blue from the Perga liners, but 
I know in this one you've got some superb. You've got um, B16 it is, this one, the one right at the end, B16. Or if you want to use the Aqua A5, you've got a nice blue there as well, B3 if you want to get some depth. No, B4, that one there is quite good. So you've got some nice, and you've got the, look, the Cerise B14. And you mix that with a little bit of the red, it's beautiful, which is what we're going to do. But the Polychromos people like Fallow Blue, and this is number 145. Or whatever you're doing, you just need a nice bright blue, okay? That's it. You don't have to have what I'm using. More important is that you hang on, you just hang out with us and... and yeah, hang out with us and enjoy enjoy just hanging out with a bunch of like-minded people. Um, what you use is really entirely your call, okay? I'm just, I know that a lot of you always ask then, well, what pencil are you using? What colour is it that you've got in your hand? I want it to do, I want it to look like yours. Right, so now what we'll do is bring out some of this blue. We're going in that corner there and we're just going to flick like that, this way. So we just flick through there. And the longer you do this, the smoother it will get. But in a minute, so you want it to kind of feather, light feathery strokes. <gasps> yeah? Nice. We can get it brighter, just got to keep going. Just keep going, 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 going. We'll blend it in a minute. Because now what I want to do is take your, now we take our yellowy, greeny, lemony colour and we'll go into it, right? So now we're coming this way and we're going to sort of meet it. There you go. Just meet it, see? It's nice going in with a light colour. Light colours are really easy to use, aren't they? There you go. Flick, flick, flick. Seeing where the two meet, you get a really lovely blend. So you could come out, you could come in a bit more with your blue. See? Cool. Do you want it to be a bit darker? Okay. Cool. And go that way with the yellow. And then we're going to grab that green. And I think this will add that green. Just do little sweeping movements over the yellow just to blend. There you go. See? It's nice. It's nice. Isn't it? You see this okay? What a beak, eh? There are lots of theories about why they've got this beak. One is that it, it's like um, for attracting your mate, you know. It certainly would, you would certainly draw attention if you had a beak like this, wouldn't you? <laughs> so there are lots of theories. One is that, that it, it attracts your mate, a mate. Another one is that um, it scares off predators. It has the opposite effect. If you had this coming at you in the dark, you'd probably run as well. There you go. So they're not huge birds. <sighs> you know, not eaglish, but they're definitely it's a f it's it's deceiving. If you if you look at the size of the beak you think it's got to be savage, but actually because it's so lightweight, it's it's not at all. And and then there's a theory as well. Let's get a darker green going now. Right, this one's called Laubgrün, leaf green. So just a darker green, okay? A nice darker green. You've got some nice dark greens in the pergola. Let's just have a look. So you've got that, you've got the light green there. Look, that one, B7, nice. B7 is good, isn't it? Hmm? So what we're gonna do now is add a bit of depth. And the reason that I do that is because if you look at the one that we're looking at, look how dark that is there. It's quite dark, isn't it? So we're going to run that over the top now and we'll get a little bit more dark green going. Okay. So now let's have a look. 
So we've got a bit of dark green going now, just along that edge. So you've got a bit of yellow, you've got a bit of depth, right? Just along that edge there, nice. And now you just dance between the two, between the three colours really. You get a bit of dark green in there. Add a little bit of up there. I think what we'll do in a minute, when we've done this, look, you see how you just, you just dance, you just flit, literally flit over the, the surface with a slightly darker colour. And then you dance between the colours. Now we'll add a little bit of yellow. And you'll see the colours, they blend in. She's got that nice light one at the top. Add a little bit more of that again. Hey. I think it's going to look good. Let's get a bit more green going in there. This is in that area there. There you go. It's good, isn't it? And then what we'll do is, once we, we've got enough of a, what we think we've applied enough, maybe a bit more up there, do you think? Let's get, let's get the green one sorted. What? Light green. Tone it down. Yeah, it's good. Not doing any black yet until we've got all the colour in the beak. Right, so we've got those ones sorted. Happy with that? Now the next ones we want to work out are the cerise colour and the orange. So the cerise colour, I kind of blended two colours together. I used, um, I can't remember which red, I think I used these two. I used um, the Madder 142 and uh, Purple Pink, but I mean You'll work it out. Just test it on a bit of, look, if I, if I want to get a, if I use this one on its own, right, let's have a look, look, I'll show you. If you use this one on its own, it's like that, right? So you can go really dark, and then you can just, by not pressing very hard, you can go lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter. And lighter. Right, now, this one on its own, this is that madder one, madder, that's my one, isn't it? One, four, two, right? So I can go really, really dark, which I don't want to do, but then as I come up, I can go much lighter, right? Or I can mix the two. Now, if I add this one to this one, it changes it. It changes it. If I, go if I cut across it, you'll see. See? So then you, you add another layer of that, and it changes this, this purple colour. See? It's got more of a, a red. <laughs> Stupid. Right, you'll see. It does. It makes a difference. Right? So, there you can see it. It's not so pink. It's redder. And that's what I want to get in that area there. Okay, so let's just have a play with blending. My suggestion is that we put a really, really fine line, a really fine layer of the purpley colour one first, or a fuchsia, yeah? So, but remember, we want to put, we want to leave a bit of whiteness in there. So if we, let's just get a flat going again, right? And we're going to go from this corner, let's get a nice flat tip going. Right, here we go. And then we're going to come up like that. And we're going to just add, here we are, right, so we're going to just, I'm aware that I want to keep that area there, actually, a little circular motions, I want to keep that area a little bit white, so I'm just avoiding it, it's quite easy isn't it, here we go, so we just come in like that, you can always add it, but it's easier. It's always easier to leave the white area like we did in the in the in the eye, you know. But I mean, if if you remember with the Mandarin ducks, if if it's if you need to put a, say you cover this now with pink, and then you think, ah, oh, there's no there's no light, then all you've got to do this is the magic of these the the pergoliners as well the B pencils. All you do is you take your rubber. Your, your pink eraser and you just reintroduce you just honestly you just rub it out and you get a lovely smooth blend okay 
But let's see if we can't do it this way first. Okay. If we're going to be stuck indoors, I've just gone over the edge. If we're going to be stuck indoors doing this again for weeks on end, then why not improve our game? Hey, why not say, okay, I'm going to get better at this. I think, I think we're all getting better anyway, just by virtue of the fact that we've been here for some months now. Do you know that this must be, let me look at my notes, 126. This is about 127 hours, people, that we've been colouring and doodling together in the Shack Shack. That's amazing. No wonder we're getting good at it, hey? The thing with the colouring, with the colouring, what we've learned is it's all about layers, isn't it? <clears throat> Working in layers and pressure. You got that yet? Right, there you go. So you just move the artwork round until you're happy, like that. Okay, but then what I want to do, I don't want to that's it. I've got a nice little white thing going there. Don't want to overcook it. If I wanted to get, if I felt I've gone too far, before I keep going, this is what I'm talking about. I take my rubber, my eraser, excuse me, and I'll just flick that through there, in that area there, and I can, I can lift it out really, really easily. If you feel you've overcooked it, get rid of it now. See? Piece of cake. <laughs> right. So once we've done that, now the next thing I want to do is grab that pink madder one, the, which is that one, the red, one, four, two. Is everybody happy? Everybody all right? Yeah? Lucy? Everybody cool? Can you hear me? <laughs> Hope so. Let's get a bit of red in on that beak now. Right, so the red, oh, pedantic I know, I am. Right, the red, what we'll do is, we'll come in, I need to lean on something, so I'm not leaning on L bird. Right, so we're just gonna put a little bit of red, a little flash of red in that, right at the tip of the beak. Okay, just flick a bit of red. It's quite a bright red, see? That's it. Just flick it up there. Be nice. Okay. Go back again with a bit of the pink. So you're sandwiching the red, you see? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm no expert. <clears throat> I'm no expert. I really am not. That's what I think. The toucan's great. The toucan, if I can, you can, toucan. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I've, how many times have you heard me say, listen, if I can do it, you can do it. And that is the God's honest truth. I only got O-level art and that was abysmal. Self-taught, there you go. Self-taught. Just got to have an encouraging or an inquiring mind. That's the one, isn't it? An inquiring mind. Now, so we've got a beak. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'm going to come in a little bit more on that edge there. Get a bit of shade going there. Don't forget though, you'd still want that white, don't you? Okay. Right, a bit whiter up here. Tell you what we could do now though. Let's see if it works. See if it see if we've got enough. Yeah. See, they also they live to be about 25, 20, 25 years. Our little parrot indoors. Oh, it's not doing well. He's we've got a conya, a painted conya, a really beautiful th little thing. A bit savage though. I think I've told you about him before. He um thing about the conya is, unlike this beak, it's a proper, uh, and he always wants to nip you. So he's not one, he's not a bird that you'd, you'd put on your finger, not unless you wanted like a hole there. Um, he's just never been, he's never been that affectionate. He's always, he's always wants to, his idea of play 
is to take a chunk out of your hand. <laughs> but he's not doing very well at the moment. He's not doing very well. He's 25 or 26, I've worked out. And that's his, he's getting there now. And he's got, there's something wrong with his neck and I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's why I wanted to do a toucan. Maybe get some positive energy into the house so that our little mate gets better. You know, maybe that's why I did it. But there you go. You know, such is life. It is the cycle of life, isn't it? Now, what we want to do, though, let's see if we can do this. Blending pens. Pergonibs. There you go. So we're going to pop one of them in. These are half price as well now. Just this week, though. So what we're going to do, see, so you put that in there. And then when you blend it, watch, as you blend the colours, stay in there, gently does it, just little circular motions like that. And you'll see, I don't know if you can see, this, it smooths it out so well. Let's stay in the darker area. Right, here we go. And, oh, it's so cool. Right, there we go. So we're just blending those colours. Go along that top edge, shall we? There we are. See? So, just staying away from that white area. I'm just coming in a little tiny bit with the nib, because it will, see how it kind of, just, you're just moving the pigment around, smoothing it out. Beautiful. There you go. Turn that looks sharp. And the thing is, once you've done that, if you want to, you can go back in. Like if I want to, I can go in and add another layer. It's not like I've I've sealed the deal. You know, like how the the pencils, if you press too hard, you can't get any more layers in. When you smooth them out like that, it doesn't mean you can't go back and add. Look, see, I'm adding more depth. I oh, know. I could. I could sit around for a week just on his beak. Titivating, I mean. <laughs> right, so we've got the blue, we've got the pink. How are we doing for time? No way. It is. Okay, come on. And oh, we've got another few minutes. All right, so there's the blue. In we go. So what I did was, this is me. I, I've got one for the pink and one for the blue, and one for the, so I'm, I'm smoothing as I'm going, right? So I've got the blending pens. There you go, and you just smooth them out, right? Okay. You don't mind if we spend a little time doing this well, do you? I bet you don't. Now, let's have a look, because he's got a red collar as well. Let's do the red collar. We'll do everything to do. We're gonna do the orange, and we're gonna do the red. Yeah, let's do the orange and the red. I'm not joking. Look, I mean, he's got a black bit here, and but he has got a little bit of red round here, right? We're gonna we're gonna bring that out. He's a bit of a show off ours, and we're gonna do orange in there now, right? Orange it is. So if you've got a good orange, I'm using what have I got here? Dark cadmium orange. Boom in the back of the net. You've got a lighter one there. B9, be nice. B10, bit darker, nicer. You've got a really good one over here. What's this one? A11. Get a good orange going anyway. And then what we'll do is, again, we'll get in that corner. We'll get right in that. Let's get that nib going. I need that real sharp. See, by making a flat on that side, I'm going to make it sharper on that side. That's it. I need to get in there, see. So here we go. Just get in there and flick out and then just keep flicking just like we did at the top of the beak there we go they're called flocks you get flocks of um two cans they are usually seem the very social birds Usually you get them in in groups of six, but in the in the forest, in the rainforest, and that they could, you can see them in uh, sometimes over twenty in the, in the, in a family. Yeah, 
but they apparently they're still monogamous they still they mate for life they hang out together right let's have a look we'll get a bit of orange going here this is nice so isn't it coming together lovely mad mad colors hey eh? right we'll leave a little bit of white in there as well just because we can hmm are we in we go yeah so we get a bit of orange going pressing a bit harder a bit brighter see in we go okay nice i mean the biggest problem they've got as far as endangered species goes is that they're wiping out their um they're wiping out their home aren't they their habitat is habitat loss is the greatest problem that they they're encountering because they haven't got any you know they keep cutting down the trees and guess where they live you know orange yeah what are we doing to our planet people what are we doing right so so we're just gonna tone that down a little bit get in there nice yeah very cool very cool love it cool look see she got a bit of, got a flash of light hitting that beak nice eh there you go it's looking good and then we've got We've got, um, so we've got the beak done nearly. Could always add a little bit. We could still add a little bit more green there. And I just want to add the red collar. Can we do that? Let's do a red collar, but let's use a brighter red this time than the red that we toned the purple down with. Let's use a bright red, like a Christmassy red. Geranium Lake I'm going to use. What have we got here? We've got a good one in here. B11. Or the A1, A12 is good too. Just because they're aqua pencils doesn't mean you don't you can't use them. That's not true at all. Right, so now let's do a little bit of red. Let's put down a little cut, uh, just a little layer first. I find with these brighter colours, it's easier to add a little layer first and then go back in again and add depth. Right, in we go. Round we go. Can I make a suggestion then so that what we do when we meet on on Wednesday right because we've done the beak we've done the beak which is the best bit really um, so maybe what you could do before before we hang out on Wednesday together again how about you do this one as well right not not the black leave out the black let's do the black together okay because like I say I want to show you so it does a favor just do, the, do, do what we've done here on this one too. And then on Wednesday, we'll, we'll tackle the black. We'll do the black on the two cans. Yeah. And I'll show you a couple of tricks. I'm going to sharpen this a little bit. But I reckon that'll be cool. Hey, what do you think? Oh, I'm going to treat myself to a new sharpener. Yeah, I am. Um, so we're just going to get a really good collar going here. I don't want to spoil it, so I'm going to leave it and find a sharpener that works. All good. But I think we've run out of time. Oh, no. So what I'll do is I'll bring this to its logical conclusion. Thank you for joining me. Lucy, thanks for all your help. Sorry about the beginning when I was talking to myself. It's all right, though. And <laughs> dry run. Um, what I would say is, yeah, just enjoy the two can heads. Say a little prayer for our parrot. See if he can turn the curve here. He may have another five years in him. Who knows? Um, and then on Wednesday when we get together, we'll do the black and the feet. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, and other than that, Head on over to the Pergamano website. See if there's not something that you fancy. Well, there's every you know half price blending pens, half price. 
have a look. You might be pleasantly surprised. Perga liners. But be aware that the sale is on the Pergamano website because it's a Pergamano party. All right. And, uh, and we're here to keep you entertained. So enjoy your Monday. Stay safe. Uh, enjoy your art. And I'll see you on Wednesday. Lots of love. Thanks, Lucy. Bye-bye now.